All right. So the um, when it comes to the sword verse, this is first n verse nine five of the Quran, Surah Tawbah, which is uh, one of the later verses of or later surahs of the Quran, and deals extensively with the situations that the rising Muslim community faced with uh, with other tribes uh, who were opposed to them. Now, verse nine five says, "Kill the disbelievers wheresoever you find them." On the face of this, this looks pretty bad, all right? But then the next verse actually says, you know, and if they desist uh, and turn, that is in repentance, then give them glad tidings. And this sort of kind of goes on with a back and forth like this in several verses. But one of the things that becomes very important when you look at any verse of the Quran is something that's called the asbab al nuzul or the occasions of revelation. This is an interpretive tool whereby Muslim scholars knew from the very beginning that all texts have contexts. And you can't take every single verse of the Quran and apply it as if it were universal. And they say that some verses of the Quran apply only to the person about whom they were revealed. Other verses of the Quran use that person as an example of a broader principle. Some verses of the Qur'an apply only to the particular historical uh, circumstance that they are addressing. Some apply to that historical circumstance and analogous circumstances. The sword verse, verse 9-5, is agreed by most scholars of the Qur'an to fall into this category, where it, is, it applies to something that did indeed happen, and it can then be applied to analogous circumstances. The situation was that there was a tribe that had declared open warfare on the Muslims. As if they came upon a Muslim caravan anywhere, it was all out warfare, their blood was legal no matter what. And so the sword verse says that it is a, it is a response to that, that when you come upon these particular individuals, they are going to give no quarter, so do not give any quarter. And in this situation, scholars have said there's uh, one of the most famous scholars of the Qur'an, um, called the Abu Bakr ibn al-Arabi. Um, he gives the opinion in his book called the Ahkam al-Qur'an, that is the edicts of the Qur'an. He says, so this verse means that when you have a party that is opposing you in the manner that this group was opposing the Muslims at the time, that you may immediately engage in warfare when you come upon them. Um, and then he says, and then says, this is the only types of circumstances in which it applies. And that opinion that Khali Abu Bakr ibn Arabi cites in his Ahkam al Quran is then repeated in dozens of commentaries on the Quran after this. Now, in the current circumstances that we have, you will actually find people who want to take it completely out of that particular context. And they are not, they're not even being really literalists. There are being extremists that are trying to take that and try to apply it to a circumstance so that it will give them an excuse to be able to do this, just as people used to cite the Bible to say that it, uh, that it excuses and permits and even demands slavery, something which the vast majority of us denounce. In the same way, the vast majority of Muslims would denounce that verses such as this give, uh, give license to wanton violence.